I'll be showing you step by step how to set up Shopify forms on your store. It's a completely free app built by Shopify that makes it super easy to collect new leads to your store. So let's go and set this up step by step here. So first we'll need to install this app on our Shopify store. You can search for it in the Shopify app store. I'll also leave a link for it in the description below and it's just called Shopify Forms. So on the install page, I'll click install here, and this is going to begin the installation sequence, bringing us to the install page, which doesn't need any permissions to accept, and so it's gonna automatically open this app up. So you'll be greeted by a screen here that's just gonna suggest that we create our first form. So I'll click create form and we get two options. We get a pop-up form or an inline form. So an inline is going to be inside of the content of our page. I'll go for the pop-up form and I'll just give this first form. So let's go and create this step-by-step and I want something on my site that's going to help me capture leads on my Shopify site that I can then email to help increase conversions. So I'll click create here. Next up, we get some options, whether we want this to overlay all of our existing content, or we want this to be floating, let's say in the bottom left, bottom center, or any really section of our site here. What I wanna do is create an overlay. I want it to just pop up and say, hey, sign up to our newsletter today. So next up, we can set the teaser. And so if I preview this here, we can see it's just gonna be a tab that's gonna be in the bottom left, bottom right, bottom center of our store. That's gonna suggest the customer clicks on it. And if they click on it, they're gonna get the form. So what I wanna do is because I'm using the overlay rather than floating, I wanna say that if the customer closes the form without subscribing, I want this to stay on the screen here. And I'll put this in the bottom right and I'll say, don't miss out on our newsletter. Maybe I'll try adding an emoji here, change this actually to an X emoji. Next up, we have our form. So this is gonna be the actual content of our pop-up. I'm just gonna say sign up for our newsletter to get exclusive discounts. And I'm actually at a character limit, so I'll just say get discounts with an exclamation point. I could say something like discounts sent out randomly every month. Next up, we can set the fields. There's default presets here for company and customer or just a customer. I'm gonna keep this as the customer. These are the pre built fields here for first name and email. We can remove this by hitting the minus sign to note the email can't be removed as that's the minimum required. And I'll just leave it as the email, making the customer have less fields to fill out. We could also add new fields such as phone, birthday, or create a custom field as well. We can change the button label. Right now it just says submit. We also have our consent disclaimer and I'll just leave this as the default here. Next up, we can decide our success behavior. So what happens when a customer submits the form? If I click preview here, I can see what it looks like. We can also display a discount optionally. So I could select a discount here. So let's go spring 30 and it lets the customer easily copy that. And so because of that, I'm just going to change the title of our form as it looks like it just edited that with the automatic discount. I'll just change just to unlock 30% off today. Maybe I'll try including an emoji again, such as a celebration. And so if I go preview my discount here, it's just gonna keep that pop-up that's saying spring 30. The description is 30% off all products. Next up, we get styling options. So these are the colors to the form. So for the accent color, I'm gonna change this to a green. I'm gonna change this to a darker green maybe. And so this is gonna to apply to when they've clicked into the field. It also applies to the discount code. Now you can customize this to match your Shopify theme, but I'll just leave most of this for now. We can change the heading typography, the form fields, we can also add an image here. I'm not going to include one. If I actually preview the teaser, it looked like it did change that as well when I added in the coupon code. So that's something to note. You might want to add the coupon code first and then change your titles. Next up, we can decide the behavior. So when do we want this form to show up? We can say whether it's on desktop or mobile. We can also set it to show on specific pages rather than all pages. And the trigger is going to be the first page, second page, or third page view. I want this to be a first page view. I'm gonna wait five seconds after they've loaded. There's also to show form when visitors attempt to leave. So this is on desktop. So typically this behavior applies if someone is mousing away on the tab like so, and it's gonna pop up there to help keep them on the site. Next up, we can tag customers when they submit this form. I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. We could also send an email for each submission to this form as well. So these are gonna be notifications going to your store's email address so you can see when customers fill it out. I'll check this off here. And lastly, at the bottom, we do get some settings on automations and workflow. And so we can send new subscribers an email with a discount code. Now I'm not gonna set this up in this video, but if you click on manage, it's going to open up the marketing section of your store and you need to install Shopify Flow and Shopify email to set this up, but it can help automate that experience. Lastly, to finalize these changes, I can click save at the top here. So now my form is saved. I just need to activate this in my Shopify theme. So in order for it to work on the storefront, 
we need to enable this app embed. So I'll click go to online store. This opens up my Shopify theme editor and it's going to open up the app embed section. So I can see it at the top left here as it's the most recently installed app on my Shopify store. And if I toggle this on and hit save in the top right, that should finalize this form. So let's go and preview this. I'm going to go back to my Shopify store menu, heading to online store, hovering over view your online store. And I know I set this at five seconds. So let's wait a few seconds here for my form to display. And after five seconds, I can see it unlock 30% off today. Let's enter in a test email. So if I click submit, I can see my discount code, which I can easily copy. I want to take a second here to say if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, shipping expenses, ad spend, and more, and it can be quite a headache to track in a spreadsheet. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It syncs seamlessly with not only your store, but your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, and ad spend for all the different ad accounts on Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, and it's super easy to set up. And once you're there, all you have to do is like the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations with a fully customizable dashboard that's gonna let you truly understand your store's performance. And this is gonna let you make smarter business decisions as you won't be guessing on how much money your store has made in the last week, month, or year. There are tons of different details, analytics, and metrics, all to help give you really solid insights into your store's performance. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Shopify app listing. You could also just search for it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So make sure you check that out. And as mentioned, it has a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So just like that, I've set up Shopify forms. Overall, it's a pretty seamless experience and it is a completely free app that makes it easy to collect leads for your Shopify store. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.